Hello everybody, I am Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Welcome to the channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today we are in Ubud, Bali. We decided for some reason to start uh, <laughs> things off doing a two kilometer trek in the midday sun and it's like 30 degrees outside. Wish us luck. called Campahoon Ridge Walk, I believe, something like that. It's actually really hard to find. So we tried to f follow Google Maps and it took us across the bridge and then we realized we had to be at the beginning of the bridge. So you, when you reach that bridge, go down the stairs. There's a little restaurant kind of thing there. You kind of walk through it to the like the left-hand side. And then there's a school behind there. Walk through the schoolyard to the back and down the hill. Then you'll find it. So we're just starting to come across some killer views out here. There's this valley and there's all these palm trees. You can see some homes off in the distance. So far this is beautiful. about a kilometer in and so far it's been a pretty easy walk uh, it took us about I think about 15 minutes um, the walk up the hill there's all these stones so it makes the walk uh, really easy and now we're kind of at the top of something that looks a little different yeah so there's like shops and restaurants and stuff up yeah. here so if you're in need of water Which or as a bite to eat there's lots of choices continued walking and now I think we've come across some rice paddy terraces and they just seem to be amongst people's houses. It's yeah cool. so this is the this is definitely the most we've seen so far we heard they're on this walk so we're really hoping to see a lot more. But look at these homes. So we've been walking for about a half hour and we're so excited because we found the rice paddy fields and we weren't sure if we were going to. Anna's back here kind of snapping uh, photos. Photos. It's so beautiful here. Maybe we should take the drone up and see if we can get some better views. part of the town. The walk was incredible. It was very hot. Just remember to bring water and probably go in the morning. That's good advice. Next up, I think we're going to try to find some interesting coffee. Hmm. Today we are trying some coffee that's a little bit different than the norm. It's quite unique actually. The easy way to say it is coffee made from poop. Poop coffee. It's poop coffee. The coffee looks completely normal. It's black from what we hear. It's supposed to taste sweet, and obviously there's a process to how it's made. I don't, right. I mean, you might know a little bit more about that. A little bit. So it, um, they basically have farms with ki kibit cats. Ki kibit called. cats. Uh, they're kind of like a raccoon, I believe, and they basically eat these like very fancy coffee beans. I think they're it's, cherry, like coffee cherries or something. I think that just means coffee beans. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. So they eat them, and then it goes through their digestive system, and they poop them out, and then they turn them into coffee. There you go. So yeah. today we're gonna find out. This coffee tastes like shit. And it's actually <laughs> so the official name is actually not poop coffee, so <laughs> don't order that. No. I think it's called Kopi Luat. Is that right? Yeah, Luat. Um, Luat. I'm gonna try it out. Here we go. You're brave. Does it taste like shit? <laughs> this does not taste like shit. No one could say this tastes like crap. Is it the shit? It is the shit <laughs> so far. It's sweet. It's hard to describe. I mean, to me, it tastes like a black coffee. If someone didn't tell me, there's no way I would know. You would. There's no. Like, oh, it's good. It, there's not like a the kind of flavors a or aroma. But also a little bit bitter. Yeah, but there's no like 
I don't want to say stinky flavors, but you think it might just not smell good or something like that. Um, it's not like that at all. It's actually really tasty. It tastes like a good coffee. It is very expensive. Mm. We only checked it out at one place, place at Anomaly. Yep. I think they have it all over town. Um, so maybe we came to an extra expensive place. I'm not sure, but it was 110 thousand rupees, which is about eight dollars yeah. US, something like that. Yeah, it's that. about seven or eight dollars US. I mean, yeah. you can get coffee for that in the US, but uh, yeah, for what it is, I guess it's the fanciest coffee you can get here. Mm -hmm. And so far, um, it's really good. It's the shit. It's the shit. It's the shit. Okay, so we just came over to this amazing palace, but we, before we start showing you around and telling you a little bit more about it, we should probably tell you a little bit more about Ubud. First of all, it's located pretty much in the center of Bali. Yeah, and I think it's known as like the cultural capital of Bali. Yeah. So the places we were before were like Samyak and Chengdu. Yeah. They're more like beach town. digital nomad hubs and beach towns, yeah. lots of coffee shops. Here, they still have some of that those elements, but there's also tons of Balinese culture here, including dancing and loads of art and temples. So we have made our way over to Ubud Palace, otherwise known as Puri Saran. It is a uh, Hindu temple, and I think they hold a lot of like cultural events here. It's right in the middle of town, and there's like dances and that kind of thing in the evenings, as far as I've heard. Yeah, and guys, look. I mean, I'm sure you can tell by now, uh, based on the footage, but it's absolutely beautiful. There's so many etchings in the wall. There's so much color. There's different types of stone. There's these things that are, I don't know what to call them, but they're just hanging, and there's all these decorations on them, and they're just kind of blowing in the wind. This place is just absolutely stunning. about this place is it's free and it's smack dab in the center of town. But one of the problems with that is whenever something's free and easy to get to, well, all the tour groups can get here really easily. So if you're coming here, you're not gonna have the place to yourself on. No, not unless you somehow manage to get a day where there are no tour groups. No. So masses of people coming in. And it's not very big, so uh, just expect a lot of people to be around and expect it to be loud. So we just came over to Ubud Market. It's also very centrally located, and it's really neat. First of all, there's a lot of people, but I like how there's all these colorful umbrellas like everywhere you look. Yeah, it's a great place to come if you're looking for like souvenirs, and you really want to stock up, or uh, you want some inexpensive stuff, but be prepared to barter. <laughs> What'd you find? So I'm, I'm still on the hunt for some bracelets. If you guys remember a few videos ago, we were in Changu. I'll link the video here. Um, we had a fail trying to find them. I got some awesome bracelets when we were in Colombia, in Cartagena, and I had to kind of cut them off. Too, too much time went by. I'll link that video too if you want to see it. So now I'm trying to, trying to find a few of these and they look pretty good. Check it out. So guys, we've been walking around here now for about 10 minutes Maybe and it, even more? <laughs> it feels like it just keeps going and going. So keep that in mind if you're coming here. Yeah, and there's also like shops and like coffee shops and some cafes and everything sort of right in here. You can definitely spend a significant amount of time. So to try to sum things up a little bit, uh, some of my favorite things here in Ubad so far have been the uh, quiet streets and when we can mm -hmm. find them, the cafe culture and the art scene. Yeah, so the art scene is just ridiculous. Someone said that uh, almost everyone in Ubad has a craft and it feels like art is one of them. The cafes are every 10 feet. It's one of the things you have to do when you're coming to Ubad and you're going to end up doing them no matter what. And the quiet streets when you can find them just sum up the vibe of this place. It's just so quiet, so chill, it's the reason why everybody's coming. been epic so we started out the day we went on that ridge walk and then we got to see the rice fields first time seeing those 
absolutely amazing. Yeah. incredible, about as good as you would imagine. Uh, after that we came back in town and we tried that uh, very interesting coffee. Very unique. Which was not crappy at all. After that we checked out the palace, yes. which again was free and so worth going, but there's a lot of people, but it's beautiful. Ubud is really cool. Uh, today we went out and did some things that we haven't been doing. We've been here for um, a few days now and we've been mostly just chilling, um, hanging out coffee shops yeah, that are one, cool. One, one thing we haven't mentioned is that there are so many spas here. Oh we did God. go the other day. It was super cheap and yeah. amazing. Yeah. Highly recommend spas, that. They're everywhere. Spas, everywhere. like spas, there's many spas as cafes. But uh, anyway, if you're wondering why we did not eat yet, um, uh, we did, uh, well, actually in the next video, we're going to be eating some Indonesian food. We yeah. dedicated, we're dedicating a whole video to that. And then in the last video we were visiting a very very beautiful hotel it's called the Visroy. Yep. So Hello. <laughs> hey you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. <laughs> They're the cutest. Subscribe. Subscribe. You got yeah it. you got it. <laughs> you got it. Follow me. <laughs> Follow us too. <laughs> guys this place huh? Alright guys that's it. From Ubud wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.